down 3D Exchange. We'll go get our Mohawk Mesh. And I would go ahead and select all three groups and smooth them. I'll smooth that all the way to the maximum. Then we're going to save it. Now we'll switch over to iClone. Content. There it is. Okay, now we need to go ahead and attach it so it becomes part of the character. And let's go ahead and let's get our bump map. Mohawk. Be sure it comes in as a normal. And now you can see and use the slider to set the depth of all the sculpting that we did. And now you go back and do the same thing for the eyebrows and for the goatee. Now I've got the character back into iClone with all the facial hair. And I'm going to go ahead and send it over to Character Creator. I also noticed that when I made the base, I didn't make the hands the same scale. And it looks like the feet also. We can correct that while we're over there. Because what we're going to be doing over there is dressing it. And then we're also going to be adding some skin textures. And things. So we'll wait for it to load up. And then we'll get started on that. Okay, let's go ahead and with scale, let's go to foot. Let's kind of make the foot catch up. Let's go to hand. And I'll bet you that's going to be the 30% that we used originally. Okay, yes. Now we have those set up like we need. So let's go over to clothing. And I do have the essentials pack. I'm going to be using the tank top. Now the pants will use jeans A. Shoes, I'm going to go back into essential clothing again and get the flip flops. Now I'm going to go over here into skin, normal, essentials, brawny man. And we'll load it up. And what this is going to do is take away our normal map. We can load the normal map in here or we can load the normal map in that. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go back over into iCloud. And we'll reload our normal map over there. When you think about it, Real Illusion is putting quite a bit of power into our hands. And the fact that we don't have to do any rigging or anything like that is just icing on the cake. Uh, lip syncing, all that works. You don't have to sweat the details. You just go in and make the character look like you want it to look. Now let's go on and go to textures and make sure we grab the head. And I've actually got this texture over here in an open explorer window. I'm going to drag it over with a right click onto the head, which will give me a menu to allow me to put it on this normal map. And there you can see we have the scar back. You can vet it. And you can use the slider to adjust how it works and things.